All right, everybody, this is the DeWalt 29 ounce adhesive gun. Part number is DCE570B. And a uh, couple quick things to note. Here is your poker. This is a dual trigger model. So the top trigger is your release trigger. It allows you to pull back the plunger rod like so. It'll also allow you to hang it with this pull handle slash hanger, hang it from a ladder, uh, what have you. Uh, here's your, this is a spot for a lanyard here, your LED light, which only comes on while the trigger is depressed. As soon as the triggers uh, let go, light goes out, it does not stay on. So, this is your cartridge holder, which is nice. It allows you to, uh, it rotates so you can, you know, keep it, keep it going while you're running a bead. Um, so, you do have a variable speed trigger, like most DeWalt tools, and you can hear it. And when I let off that trigger, you'll notice it's got an anti-drip technology, which backs that plunger up just a hair, releasing pressure off of your tube of, of adhesive or caulk, and uh, Keeps it from dripping out the end, which everybody knows is a real pain. So now, this is your variable speed uh, dial. So what this will allow you to do basically, let's see here, this is max, we'll crank it up to a six. And you can hear when I pull that trigger all the way, it will really put out the material. Now, <clears throat> I can dial that back, which basically is uh, limiting the max output. So when I pull this trigger all the way, you can see it's not quite the speed as it was. Now I can dial that back down. So I can set that to where I know that is a nice bead of cock that's being applied at full speed. Of course, I can vary that with the trigger. I can really slow it down. And again, you can see when I let off the trigger, that plunger will back up. Again, releasing pressure. So a couple really nice features, LED light. It does have a lockout switch here for, uh, preventing you from depressing the trigger, uh, say by accident. Um, maybe you wanna to toss this in a toolbox and put that uh, lockout switch on and if it gets bumped around, the trigger gets pushed, well, it won't happen in this case. So uh, it does have a couple of rubber feet on both sides so you can lay the tool down gently and uh, keep that from marring up any surface. Um, so I think that pretty much covers everything. Um, now your top trigger, again, I depress it and allows me to back that plunger up and I can feed a tube of adhesive in here and uh, undo my lockout switch, feed it in get ready to lay some uh, material down. So in this particular case, I have a the 29 ounce uh, construction adhesive tube in here. I know the project that I'm fixing to do is going to require laying down a lot at one time. So in that case, I would dial this all the way up to a six, give it the full, uh, depress the trigger all the way, and I can empty that tube out uh, rather quickly. It's quite impressive how fast it will. Great thing for guys with arthritis like myself. Um, 
I'm not squeezing and squeezing and squeezing a trigger. Um, we all know that some of these adhesives and caulks are, are really tough to uh, squeeze. Um, so that's really nice. Now the tool is a little, little hefty. There is some weight to it, but really with that weight, I can control uh, the bead that I'm laying down in certain applications. Uh, in this particular application here, you know, we're laying down material super fast. We're not, we're not uh, uh, caulking in, uh, you know, backsplashes or anything like that in this particular case. So. I would have it dialed all the way up, pull, depress the trigger, lay that material down really fast. Now, one thing I will uh, note, would like to note anyway, is there is an accessory. So if you wanted to turn this into a uh, 10 ounce, which is your you know standard size tube of caulk. Uh, so for example, I know in this particular project I'm fixing to do, I'm gonna lay down this large tube and uh, then I'm going to move to another part of this project that's going to require more of this adhesive, but not near as much. So I'm going to put the 10 ounce tube in, save a little money that way. Now this will also, uh, well, this kit here, or conversion kit they call it, DeWalt does, that comes with another plunger rod that is shorter. Obviously, you know, your total stroke is much shorter then your 29 ounce also comes with a poker on the bottom. And um, all you gotta do is one Phillips screw in the handle, swap the handles out, and uh, this comes off rather quickly, and there you go. So uh, you can also buy the conversion kit for the uh, sausage style tubes. Um, I don't use those personally, but uh, if you do, uh, you can buy that conversion kit as well. And uh, that comes with your uh, nozzle, uh, the uh, sausage tube uh, uh, holder, and uh, the proper plunger for that particular uh, uh, length of stroke required for that. So anyway, uh, these conversion kits are a little pricey, but um, you know, each tube of caulk is not very uh, cheap, so you can pay for one rather quickly, in my opinion. And uh, got a great rubber overmold, just like, you know, DeWalt's drills and other tools. It just, it's super comfortable in the hand. And uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you.